fresh warnings tonight that Vladimir Putin's hackers could wreak havoc on Election Day in America. The House Intelligence Committee chairman tells CBS News the Russians have a motive and the know-how. They try to do it all over the globe. They try to do it in Ukraine. Uh, would they try to do it here? Absolutely. U.S. intelligence and law enforcement officials tell CNN they believe there is near certainty that Russian intelligence is behind the recent hack of the Democratic National Committee's computers, the theft of thousands of documents and emails, which led to embarrassing revelations forcing the DNC chair to resign. And there's increasing confidence that recent cyber attacks against election registration websites in Illinois and Arizona link back to Russian government hackers. Putin denied all of it. I don't know anything about it. And on a state level, Russia has never done this. But U.S. officials and experts say Putin's hackers did disrupt Ukraine's elections in 2014, destroying servers, installing viruses, which could have changed results. But the attack failed. Officials say the American voting system would be harder for the Russians to hack into and actually change voting results because voting machines in the U.S. aren't connected to the Internet. And they're not centralized. Each state has a different voting system. But Putin's army of cyber warriors, experts say, still have ways of disrupting the American vote. The first would be to selectively remove 5% of Republicans or Democrats from the voter registration rolls, which would mean people would show up and they would not be registered. They would have to cast provisional uh, ballots. And in some places, that's going to create quite a, a backlog in terms of lines and, and disruption. Another hacking method that concerns experts, if the Russians reveal bugs in the American voting system, show how easy it would be for results to be falsified. Analysts say disruption, raising doubts about the American system, not actually changing voting results, is what Vladimir Putin is after the most. And if that happens, then the elections themselves are called into question, and that seeds chaos in American politics. And most importantly for the Russians, it undermines the argument that American democracy is the model. Now, what are the risks for Vladimir Putin if his hackers try to interfere with the U.S. elections and they're publicly exposed for doing that? Analysts say a retaliatory cyber operation is possible. The U.S. and NATO could escalate their military presence on Russia's borders. And some of Putin's stronger allies, like Iran and China, could become more suspicious of Vladimir Putin than they could distance themselves from him. Wolf, he is not without risk in this equation either.